When you want to measure the inductance of coils, you can do that with an oscillator. And to measure uh, coils with a big inductance, for instance this one, the yellow one, or even the secondary coil from this transformer, big coils or small coils, like this one, you need an oscillator that um, has a broadband characteristic. And from the radi radio theory we know that there is a fixed relation uh, in this case between the inductance from the coil and the capacitance parallel to that coil. So this is parallel resonance here. And you can derive all the uh, values from this formula. I don't say that this oscillator has a linear characteristic, so perhaps uh, it doesn't match perfectly with this formula, but it uh, matches in a certain sense that with 30 microhenry we have uh, 25 kilohertz and 3.6 micro millihenry here and 3.6 microhenry the oscillator oscillates on 1.2 megahertz. So there's a fixed relation between the inductance from the coil and the frequency. At the moment I'm uh, measuring, testing in a certain way this coil, the 30 microhenry coil and with this oscillator here and with this waveform here, good sine wave I think, we have this frequency 27 kilohertz. You have to set the oscillation to the most perfect wave with this potentiometer, 22k or 25k. When I change the value from that potentiometer a little bit, you can see that the waveform gets some deterioration. But this is the best waveform. This also means that your frequency that you measure um, has the best value for measuring purposes. Uh, the circuit is PMP transistor here, the BD140, uh, and the rest from the circuit is very simple. Everyone can make this circuit. And the good property is that it is a broadband oscillator. I want to demonstrate it now. I put that down the camera a little bit. I connect now the secondary from the transformer to the oscillator. Let's connect it now. Turn the potentiometer to a certain value here. And in a certain moment the oscillator starts to oscillate. I, sur I search for the best waveform. And the secondary coil from this uh, transformer gives a frequency from 177 kilohertz. And from that frequency you can derive the inductance from the coil. And the best thing to do that is to use a few uh, coils from which you know the inductance. Buy them in a shop or so, or find it. Find a radio amateur that can help you. Again, this is the circuit. Connection from the BD140. And I hope this is a useful oscillator for test. Um, applications going from uh, high inductance coils, say um, 30 millihenry, to uh, 
low inductance coils in the microhenry range and 3.6 microhenry is the lowest uh, value that this oscillator can handle to keep oscillating. When you have a coil with a lower inductance than 3.6 microhenry, the oscillator will not function. So you can test anything.